For a long time, Egypt was one of my top countries I wanted to visit and cultures I wished to experience. Unexpectedly, last year in October an opportunity came up to travel to this exotic country together with a bunch of good friends to shoot a short film for Lumix. I didn't hesitate for a second, jumped on the airplane and this is a short documentation of the whole experience. So I am currently in Istanbul on the airport and Barney is here with me but he's on the toilet and I'm waiting for or we're waiting for our flight to Cairo so I think it should be in about an hour and then we have another hour to to get there now we're gonna wait there for everyone and meet everyone on the airport and then head straight to the hotel So just checked in the new room. This is the room. Pretty big for one person. Gonna be spending a night here. And now I'm gonna order some food and then we're gonna have a team meeting and go over the script to discuss all the scenes and the whole plan for the next 10 days. Just got back from the mall. I'm here with Barney, who's the VP of the short film, and we are going over the script and trying to divide it into scenes so we can actually plan how we're gonna shoot it. Good morning, guys. So today is the day two of our trip here in Egypt. And yesterday was a little bit hectic. We had to relocate to a new hotel because there were some problems in the first hotel. And in the evening, uh, the director Claire arrived as well as the main actor. So we went through the script, we divided it into scenes and we wrote down you know, all the things that we need to get. We did um, some adjustments because some of the scenes were unrealistic to create in this short time frame. And then today we're finally gonna go scout the first location. But before we start the day, let me just quickly show you the complex that we are staying at. Um, so this is one of the locations that we're um, hoping to shoot in. Uh, it's not as far as the other desert, uh, but it has an insane view of the pyramids, um, Saqqara, tombs, so yeah. So we've just finished scouting our first location, and as you can see, we're on this um, horse farm slash stable, where you can basically rent horses and go on a tour uh, into the desert. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring the camera on the horse, uh, so you'll probably just see some footage from the phone. But the location wasn't very good because there was a lot of tracks from the quad bikes and in general this desert is just next to the city, so there's a lot of rubbish. Uh, so we will probably have to change a plan and we will have to shoot everything in Al Fayum desert, which is like two or three hours from Cairo and we're gonna go there in two or three days. Today we have rehearsals and then uh, we need to prepare everything, rent the gear and so on. So stay tuned. We've spent our third day in Cairo running around the markets to make sure that we have all we need for the character outfits and other props. Our first stop was a local market with dresses and fabrics in the heart of Cairo, where tourists usually don't go, but that's exactly what we are looking for. Alison, our stylist and props magician, was able to find a good amount of clothes that could work for the characters, and I had never seen anyone that good in striking great deals. Most people were very nice and friendly to us, and overall it was a great experience. Right after that we've headed to Khan El Khalili market, which is the famous market of Cairo. This place was full of beautiful stores with jewelry, lamps, pottery and spices. 
You could smell the aroma of incense all around you, which added to the atmosphere, together with little bistros where you could see locals as well as tourists sipping the traditional Egyptian tea with mint, listening to music or eating one of many tasty Middle Eastern dishes. If you will be visiting Cairo, I highly recommend you to dedicate one evening to the exploration of this market. So we're on the second day of scouting, right here in the desert. What is the name of this desert? Fayum. Fayum Desert. And we're taking a 4x4 car and we're gonna go around scouting the lake, which is right behind there, and then some dunes and some other locations. And hopefully we can finalize the locations for the shoot, which starts in two days. So there was a scene that we're gonna have in the uh, movie where the actor is looking for the treasure and Barney was just testing the sand, so it's actually doable. And right behind there is a lake, you can see. Uh, and it used to be an ocean, on the ground you can see a lot of uh, little shells and other things. Yeah, just little shells. <laughs> So just arrived to location number two in the desert, which is this cave that we are looking for, where Claire and Barney been before. But it looks, it could be this one, just not from this side, because it's a dead end there. But we can see the light on the other side, so I'm gonna try to go check it from the other side. So we are walking in the streets of Zamalek with Claire. <laughs> and um, last few days have been pretty hectic. We've been basically based in Cairo and we've been running around the markets trying to get the props, trying to get the wardrobe for the actors, uh, getting extras, getting all the equipment that we need for the shooting. And uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday our main actor decided to walk away <laughs> So we basically had to push the shoot one more day and now we're figuring out what we're gonna do next. But there's no compromise, we have to start filming tomorrow early morning. And either Clay is gonna take his role as a director and a main actor, because he wrote the video as well, or a miracle will happen and we will find someone here in Egypt who can help us with that. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you tomorrow when we start shooting. Why should I go with you, man? And fools it and sells it. What are we doing here? I'm actually taking the um, the role of the lead um, as a last minute stand in because uh, our lead actor dropped out. So that's been fun. Um, so I'm learning all the lines. Luckily for me, I wrote the lines. So, <laughs> so, so this is our room, and this is where we're going to prepare all the gear. You see the Panasonic Lumix S5 bodies, lenses. Cables, battery charger. We have Barney here. He's setting up the camera. We have Omar. He's a gaffer. Hello, guys. And yeah, as you can see, we're setting one handheld camera, which is going to be on EasyRig. And then one Lumix S5 is going to be on a gimbal. Uh, and one Lumix S5 is going to be on an FPV drone. Nice. Just before the sunset, we've headed to the desert in order to decorate the Bedouin tent for the night scenes, set up all the lights and get ready for the overnight shoot. We've started with the Lumix S5 on the Trinity to create a few dynamic scenes right off the bat and then switched to a handheld and slider setup for the next scene by the bonfire. 
The night was passing fast and we were moving through the scenes slower than expected. Before we realized, we had to start packing our gear and head back to the villa, even though we didn't manage to film all we wanted. With only a few hours of sleep, we woke up and headed to the desert again. This time, to film a fight scene on top of the dunes. This was probably my favorite part of the shoot, as we got some amazing light in our favor and we've managed to mount the camera on an FPV drone in order to create a perspective of a wind. On our next day, some of us had to wake up very early to head out for sunrise and by this time everyone was pretty damn tired. We've pushed through the morning scenes and headed straight into the desert to capture a scene of the main character hanging from a rig which was later used for a VFX composition. By this time we knew that there's only a few more scenes missing and that really kept us motivated. We've relocated to the nearby dunes where we were awaited by two horses and a beautiful golden light, which is a dream of every filmmaker. Hey guys, so I'm back in Switzerland and I would just like to say a few words before I end the video. First of all, uh, the whole experience in Egypt was really, really cool. I enjoyed it. As I said, it was first time in Egypt, uh, but it wouldn't be the same without the people and without the team that we had, which was a mix of an international crew and also Egyptian crew. As I said, without them, it wouldn't be possible to finish the project. And uh, maybe I didn't mention it in a video, but I was there to film the BTS of the short film. If you would like to watch the BTS or if you would like to watch the short film, I'll leave the links in the description below. I think both videos came out pretty good, especially for the fact that we had a lot of hiccups that we had to solve uh, on the run during the production. But luckily everything came out really well. And yeah, this month, uh, I'm gonna be heading to New York probably and then doing some other projects in Switzerland. So if you would like to see more videos like this, then definitely consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.